guys welcome to today's video today's video is something I've never done but I'm really excited I'm gonna be sharing all of my personal favorite YouTube channels that I watch or that I have watched and I'm gonna share why I watch them or have watched them and any recommendation and why I would recommend that channel this is a unique video um, I saw I think someone else create something similar and I was like, that's a wonderful idea because there are so many YouTube channels out there. And I'm not just talking about the homeschool community, even though there's a lot of homeschool YouTube channels, there's a lot of channels in general. And I think it's very interesting that if you ask somebody what YouTube channels they watch, you're probably always gonna get different answers. So I thought that this would be a great video for those of you that watch me to see what I watch and maybe introduce you to some newer channels that you've never watched before. I also asked a bunch of different homeschool YouTubers to collab and make similar videos because again, there's so many different channels out there. I know that I'm excited to watch these other videos to find new channels. The entire playlist is linked down below. So after you watch this video, go ahead and click on that playlist and you're gonna see all the other videos created by other homeschool moms that are also YouTubers. So in this video, I'm sharing all different categories because I'm sharing what I really watch on YouTube. Obviously, I'm going to share some homeschooling channels, even though those are my least watched channels. Um, after being a homeschooler and a homeschool YouTube content creator, I'm at a point to where I don't need those channels as much as I did when I was newer to homeschooling. I am confident in the curriculum we use. I'm confident in our schedule we use. So I'm not really looking for those types of videos anymore because I don't need them. But there are some homeschool channels that I watch religiously um, because I've watched them for years. I love seeing their days. Some of them have kids close to mine or the year above mine. So I kind of just like to see um, how these different homeschool families homeschool curriculum and life updates. So the main channels that I watch that are homeschool related and these are in no specific order. I have all my channels written down on here. Um, so the first one is Brittany Olga. She was one of the first YouTubers I ever watched. Um, she has kids that are right above mine. And so it's always a great kind of glimpse into the future. She, I feel like uses curriculum that I like. We may not use the same curriculum, but I, I like the curriculum she chooses. I've learned a lot about different curriculums from her. I love seeing her homeschool days. And so that is one of my favorite channels. The next one is Life with Gina B. Another first homeschool channel I ever watched. Um, when I first started YouTube and watching her channel, she was actually a working homeschooling mom as well. And so I was able to relate a lot to her. And then I just never left. <laughs> I love Gina. She's so sweet. I love her videos. I love seeing her family grow. I think also we have kids right around the same age levels. And so it's just really great to um, see how their homeschool is progressing as well. I'm going to bring up one of her other channels soon too in a different section. Next is my best friend Nikki at Blessed Homeschool Mess. Um, it's so funny because we started noticing that we would release YouTube videos like on the exact same topic on the exact same day without even talking to each other. And we both have daughters the same age, the same grade level, and we used to use a lot of the same curriculum. Um, obviously we became best friends. And so now I just watch her channel because it's like hanging out with my friend. But before that, um, it was just a great channel to really, you know, focus on that specific age level, share some of our issues with curriculum, trying new curriculum, all those things. The next one is the channel called Homeschool Made Simple. This is actually a newer channel from Angela Braniff. Um, she has multiple channels. She also has a channel called This Gathered Nest, which I'll talk about too but she just branched off and made a homeschool specific channel, even though her other channels had previously talked about homeschool. She is probably one of the biggest YouTubers I watch. Um, I love her personality, her sense of humor, and um, her homeschooling. Again, one of the very first YouTubers I watched about homeschooling. She used to do a lot of unit studies. She has a lot of different age level of kids. And then what really hit me is I read her book and 
I just fell in love with her family's story, her philosophy on life. Um, if you need a really great emotional but heartwarming book to read, I highly recommend her book. And then if you get the audio version, she actually narrates it herself. Now, those are the channels that I will watch consistent, consistently, regardless of whatever. I may not use the same curriculum as them, but I'm, I'm pretty invested in all of those channels at this point. Now, I have a whole other section of YouTube videos that these channels really helped me when I was brand new and or they help me when I'm trying to find a new curriculum. They all share tons of curriculum, tons of reviews, and really well put together videos. So the first one is The Practical Homeschooler. She has multiple kids, multiple grade levels. She shares tons of curriculum comparisons and curriculum reviews. And so I learned so much from watching her videos and her channel. The next one is Homeschoolology. Same thing. She is one of the few secular homeschool channels and she's and she shares such great resources especially um, on that secular side um, she tries out a lot of stuff she's very honest in her um, feedback i've tried out so many new curriculums because of her channel so highly highly recommend um, that channel the next one is science mama again tons of reviews i feel like she does focus a lot on sunlight um, but she uses multiple sunlights with multiple kids so just being organized balancing her videos are always great jackie paulson same thing she's very organized shares a lot of different curriculum a lot of hauls that i learned so much from in the beginning the rainbow resources channel their new series is called coffee and curriculum it is so fun they share new products that just arrived but then if you actually go back to their channel they have a lot of different videos just helping homeschoolers in general um, one that comes to mind that i always talk about is how to know if your child is ready to write and talking about holding a pencil and just all the muscles in a little kid's hand just very educational things that you just don't really realize and some tips and tricks to help you understand those things more often. So those, I mean, that was a lot. Obviously I do watch other channels, but these are the ones that I would recommend to anyone. Um, if you're new to homeschooling, if you're looking to follow families that post consistently, there are a lot of other YouTube channels that I used to watch, but they don't post anymore. Um, they don't have updated videos. And so I know it's hard to go back and watch older videos. All right, let's move on to another subject that I love, and these are books. I absolutely love reading, and these are probably the most videos I watch now because I'm always looking for new book recommendations. Um, so I have four different channels on here and two kind of podcasts, so six total channels that I'm gonna share. Um, the first one is Peace Love Books. Um, she just shares a lot of good reviews on books. Um, she's always putting out new content multiple times a week. So always sharing the newest book releases, everything like that. The next one is Novel Life. Same thing, she is consistent. Um, she actually works as like a author's assistant and for book companies. So it's really fun to hear her side of like that kind of world and work environment. And then those two, channels so the peace love books and novel life they actually came together and have a joint channel called the bookish life and it's kind of like a podcast but you can watch their youtube videos where they get on i think weekly and just talk about all things again they'll talk about books working in the book industry and i just think it's a great time um, it's like again talk sitting with friends listening to them talk about books the next two are um, her channel is her name sarah curley um, she is just super fun. She has great book recommendations. She's super fun. She does a lot of vlogs, but book related. So she'll read a lot of like reading vlogs where she's reading books. She does great book reviews without giving anything away. I trust her reviews on books. And so she's just really fun. Um, she is a younger and so um, there are some things where I'm just like, I do not connect with you on that level, but I love her book recommendations. And then the other channel is Destiny Sidwell. Same thing. They are actually best friends, uh, Sarah and Destiny. And Destiny's just, she's so funny. 
Um, I like her because she films a lot of behind the scenes of being a content creator. And even though she creates book content, book related content, it still relates to just being a YouTuber in general. And so I really enjoy watching her vlogs. And then I love her reading reviews, um, her reading recommendations, all those things. And then Sarah and Destiny have a joint channel and podcast called Bookmarked where they um, just chat weekly about all the things. They do tend to go into topics that I don't really have interest in. Again, they're both a lot younger. Um, so I don't, I'm not as consistent with watching their podcasts because I just don't relate to a lot of the topics they talk about unless it's book related. All right, next category is fitness. So I do use YouTube for majority of my workouts. Um, there's plenty of free videos. So if you want to start getting into fitness and working out, it's all free. Um, the first channel I really connected with and have used consistently is called Grow with Joe. She is a mom. She does quick workouts that are very impactful. Um, I started my fitness journey with her. I've built up a lot of muscle and strength and endurance following her workouts. And so I consistently go back to her channel for new types of workouts um, because I am kind of she so grow with joe is i would say more of a beginner channel um i have needed to get a little bit more of intense workouts sometimes and so i just found a new channel um caroline gervin she does a lot of strength and weight training and like core workouts her workouts are extremely intense so i've never actually been able to get through a, few, a through a full workout from her um but that's my goal i'm trying so she's kind of like that next like intermediate advanced working out videos uh, but again tons of videos and they're all free um the next ones and this is the biggest the last category and probably the biggest besides homeschool these are um vlog type channels that i watch um, so the first one, and this is a newer one I just started watching, is Beauty and the Beastins. And the reason I started watching her is she does weekly meal prep for high protein and macro diets, and she shares all the recipes. And so um, I really like that because it helps me find new recipes, gives me uh, motivation to meal prep because that's something that I do. I did, so I watched a lot of her meal prep, and then I kind of just started watching some of her other vlogs. She's a mom of four she's busy, she tries to be healthy. And so I do find a lot to relate. She has tons of cool house stuff, organization tips. And so she's a really fun new channel that I just started watching. Um, the next one is Home with Haley. I also started, I actually started watching her a few years ago because she mainly followed the Weight Watchers diet. Um, now she is more on the high protein type thing, but she does a lot of meal prepping, grocery hauls, so I watch those videos from her. Um, this Gathered Nest, that is Angela Branov's kind of family vlog channel. And that was where all her homeschooling content was before she started her new homeschooling channel. But now that I'm invested in that family, because again, I read her book, I've been watching her YouTube channel for years now. Um, that is where she puts like all her vlogs from like living on their farm, homeschool, and I just absolutely love them. She is a riot, she is so funny. My battery camera died, so I just switched it out really quick. So I was talking about this gathered nest. I love it. I love Angela. She's actually she's so so funny. She does gardening, cooking, homeschooling, just so many great things. Um, so highly recommend her vlog channel. Um, two new channels that I started watching for vlogs ish. Um, blessed blessed homeschool. Uh, I've just started recently watching her vlogs. I like she shares a lot of grocery haul or she started sharing some grocery hauls recently, her fitness, um, her travel, her school days. And so I really enjoy watching those. Madison Hopper's homeschool channel. She also has a cleaning channel, but I really enjoy watching her homeschool channel. I enjoy her day in the lives, her vlogs, her curriculum reviews. She's probably one of the newest channels that I've started watching and I love all of her content. And then the last channel I'm going to mention, this is actually another channel of Gina B's. This is her new channel with her husband, Off the Grid with Gina and Ty, and they bought undeveloped land in Canada and have basically 
uprooted and changed their entire life and they are documenting all of it. I feel like I'm watching like a TV show, <laughs> like documentary when I watch that channel and their videos. It is so cool what they're doing. They are so inventive. They are so patient throughout this process and they really are offering a lot of support for others that are looking to do that same thing. So that is also a channel that I really enjoy watching. All right, that is the wrap up of my list there. Like I said before, these are the ones that come to mind. I went on my YouTube homepage and I was like, okay, what channels, what videos would I click on and what would I recommend? And these are them. Of course, there's other, so many other great channels. You're going to see so many great channels in the club today. I think I'm going to see some new channels that I've never seen before. So check out that playlist link down below. If you have channels you recommend after hearing my list and you think I would enjoy them, go ahead and leave those down below in the comments also. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.